we have conducted this sensitivity analysis by introducing unexpected changes in the benefits and the unexpected changes in the costs however discount rate is yet another factor that can be uh, used as one of the critical elements that can affect the outcome of the project so let us do this experiment in this video so this is the case 3 after doing the analysis with benefits and costs the unexpected changes in them we are going to do the analysis with discount rate and we are going to increase it because this is a thing that can bring down the NPV which is a cause of concern for us so we are going to do the experiment in the same way by dis increasing the discount rate by at maximum 5% but not more than that because interpolation will be there in which the um, maximum level of gap between lower and higher values should be uh, 5% so let's see what happens uh, with NPV when we do so mathematically speaking it's a certain percentage change in the discount rate that will lead to the NPV uh, 0 so mathematically speaking uh, NPV will be 0 if we calculate the NPV by using the original benefits and the original costs uh, with the new discount rate this should be C only and nothing else so it is the original C and this is the discount rate and the discount rate is now different from the original one because we have added some percentage change in it so that new level of uh, discount rate is uh, or that increase in the percentage uh, interest rate, uh, discount rate is the switching value of discount rate that will make the NPV zero this can be better understood with the help of the example which we have been using before in which we experiment with that example of Lahore Sialkot motorway and here we are exploiting that relationship which is negative between discount rate and NPV so we are going to increase the discount rate to see what happens with NPV and the maximum difference again will be 5% so here you can see the year the gross cost the benefits they are the same net benefits they are calculated the way they were calculated before this is the original discount rate and then we have the discounted net benefits and in the discounted net benefits we have the final answer which is NPV so this is something we have calculated before uh, but now we are going to introduce the change which is the increased discount rate after 5% increase in the discount rate and the discount rate would become 12.600% so by using 12.600 we get the discounting factor which is uh, noted in red color and then we calculate the discounted net benefit at this 5% increase in the discounting factor so this is the uh, series of uh, discounted net benefits here is the sum of it and uh, then we have the increased discounting factor again because the NPV reached 38.35 and it is far from zero so this time we experiment with 10% increase which will make the discount rate 13.200 and then we calculated the discount rate on the basis of 13.200 percent percentage uh, of the discount rate so the discounting factor is calculated we use this and then multiply it with the original net benefits we get this uh, series of discounted net benefits at 10% increase in discount rate so this will be the answer so again you can see that there is a small decline so we can make a jump and that will allow us to reach uh, closer to zero so this time we increased the discounting factor by 120 percent and the new discount rate was 26.400 on the basis of which we calculated this series of uh, discounting factor and then we have discounted net benefits which is the product of discounting uh, discounting factor which is new discounting factor and the old net benefits and then we vertically add them to get the NPV which is a positive value 
and this is the discounting factor uh, at 125 percent we had to go to 125 after 120 because it is still not zero or negative it is close to zero so a jump of five has allowed us to reach that level where we have calculated the discounting factor again and then we have used it to calculate the discounted net benefits at 125 percent increase in the discount rate so this is that series of discounted net benefits at 125 percent increase in discount rate summing which we get the negative value of npv which is there at 125 percent increase in discount rate so now we are in a position to uh, do the interpolation because uh, we will get a negative and uh, zero npv between these two now we can uh, highlight those values that we obtained with this trial and error npv can become zero between uh, 120 percent increase in uh, discount rate and 125 percent increase in discount rate because respectively on these two values of discount rate the npv is positive and negative so we can use the tool of interpolation here and the lower increase is 125 120 percent so we call it the lower change in discount rate and the higher change is 125 percent so we call it the higher change in the discount rate now the next thing is very simple we can easily put the values we have done so we are trying to find out the switching value of discount rate SVI and you can see the lower discount rate the difference of the higher and lower discount rate as per the formula of interpolation and then the NPV at lower discount rate then again the same value but here and be we at higher discount rate with the modulus sign so this is the usual interpolation formula that we have used here we have substituted the values which is easy and the calculation is as well this is the final value of switching value uh, for discount rate uh, this is 121.449 percent approximately we must note because due to uh, the use of discounting factor in fractions the answer is uh, likely to be slightly at least slightly imprecise so considering that this is the switching value we can say that at at this the npv will be zero if we consider this value and before it and after it the value will be positive and negative of the npv so that's why we call it a switching value of the discount rate which is switching the nature of the sign and at which the npv will be zero here we can draw a corollary and that corollary is the relationship between switching value of discount rate and the internal rate of return. We already know from our previous videos that the IRR for this stream is 26.7705%. And here if we increase the discount rate which is 12% originally, if we increase it by the switching value of interest, the NPV will become zero. This is the very definition of the switching value. So it, it means that the new value, that is the augmented discount rate, will be, in other words, IRR. So we can mathematize this corollary, and you can see the original discount rate when we add the switching value of discount rate percent in it, it will be equal to the IRR. So um, the answer of it is this. One can calculate the switching value of discount rate directly if the IRR known. We can do this experiment that if the IRR is known, which usually we calculate, and the discount rate is given, we can find out this switching value by doing a simple algebra and shifting the values from one place to another. So this is a small DIY for you. You can do this from any other example or the same example that you have in front of you. Just extract the value of, F of S uh, vi and uh, put the values of i and irr then we'll get the switching value of discount rate now we can also verify just like we verified the answers for the switching value of cost and switching value of benefits in this case we are trying to verify the switching value of the discount rate which is 121.449 and the same stream is being used this is the NPV at switching value of discount rate. It should be equal to zero because we are using the uh, new discount rate or augmented discount rate 
uh, which has an increase of switching value of discount rate in it now the discount rate is recalculated at switching value of discount rate and that would be equal to this and then we can multiply these values of the new discount rate or the augmented discount discounting factor with the original uh, net benefits and we will get this certain value which is actually the NPV uh, and that is approximately equal to zero it's not precisely equal to zero this is possible because uh, in this case we had to do these calculations we can go back to those because there is quite a bit of element of imprecision it can be there because you can see we are calculating the discount rates that are in fraction so when we calculate the discounting factor on the basis of a fraction that is 26.40 the answer is likely to be less precise therefore the answer of IRR uh, the answer of switching value of discount rate is also not perfectly precise because uh, the NPV that we calculate at switching value is minus 0 0.0043 which is close to very close to zero but still not precisely equal to zero so due to that um, higher degree of decimal places and definitely some uh, uh, missed level of accuracy from those decimal places we can say that the NP is not precisely equal to zero and this is the statement that you can read on your own that this is the loss of the decimal places in the calculation from the discount rates to the discounting factor just like you observed that for example this was the discounting rate and when we calculated the discounting factor it was you know some sort of fraction um, for instance but definitely this uh, fractional part is causing this problem of uh, imprecision this is definitely known as the switching value that we have already learned no matter it is uh, it is slightly imprecise but it is still the switching value of interest so in this way we have assessed the uh, we have done the verification which was the new discount rate after adding the uh, switching value in the uh, original discount rate and then uh, before it we understood the relationship between SVI switching value and the IRR which is an interesting and new thing as compared to the switching value of benefits and costs which was not having such sort of relationship and at least in our video and then uh, previously we did the switching value calculation by using the interpolation formula and this was the uh, calculation behind it and this was the idea behind it so we have done the sensitivity analysis uh, for costs for benefits and now for discount rates thank you